Hello, Policy Bus for UK here, and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Every day, 6 pm, a different time, strategy CPC 464 game on my channel. So let's have a look what's in the disc this time. We have got disc. I don't know if this is going to work because I haven't tried it yet, but let's try it. This is a uh, afterburner, the Amstrad CPC version. So it's loading up from the disc now. There it is. That's a good start. Afterburner Sega, and it's like sort of converted by Activision or published by Activision. I, I, I think it's converted by Activision to be honest, because I don't think Sega had any uh, making of the uh, the eight bit ports. Anyway, so yeah, this is Afterburner. As you can see, there's a title screen, so it has loaded successfully. Can't hear any music yet, but uh, let's press fire and see what happens. So we've got a choice between keyboard or joystick. Love joystick. This is copyright Sega Limited 1988. Fire to start. Disaccess, please wait. Now, as you can see, this is afterburner. Let's go. So it takes off from the uh, craft. Well, it's a shame that there isn't the afterburner theme tune. Oh shit, I've got lock on. Graphics are okay, they're, they're a bit simplistic, but they, they sort of like do the job of trying to get the uh, arcade experience in the home. But it would have been a lot better if it had the uh, the music, in my opinion. I don't know if it does on the 1 to 8 machine or whatever, but similar to Story to Outrun as well, where that didn't have music in game either. Ooh, just got shot down by someone. So yeah, the uh, in the or arcades there was the uh, there was two versions of the coin up machine, or probably more than two actually. But there were the ones I know about was a hydraulic sit down one, and the stand up just standard one. And uh, I never got to play on the hydraulic one. I, I would love to someday if there's any of them available anywhere in the UK. Let me know in the comments if you know where there's a hydraulic after burner arcade machine still operating. So I'd love, it would give me a good excuse to go there. So yeah, um, yeah, okay, so this is uh, level two. You can see the, the scenery has changed a bit. It's not the worst game in the world, but it's certainly not the best. Um, it's certainly not the best conversion of Afterburner as well. Um, I'd say, I would say it's better than the Spectrum version. Uh, Commodore 64 version wasn't too good, but it had music on that version, I think. I think there's two versions for the Commodore 64. There was a different version released in America than uh, Europe, I think, as well. I don't know if that's the case for the CPC. But yeah, well, there's not much more I can say. It's a flight flight game. It's after burner. You control this jet. Control response is good. No input lag. Uh, graphics are now okay-ish. They're not best. They look a tiny bit blocky, but... Afterburner, what more can you say? I uh, well, here comes the uh, refueling station, and it's not, it actually gives you bullets, so I'm not feel. And uh, yeah, what happened? Disk access, please wait. So it's a bit of a multi load. Don't know where that would have fared on the tape machine, but uh, on the disk drive, it's really quick and not noticeable. So yep, that's uh, Afterburn on the Amstrad CPC. I'm going to give that a, uh, a 7 out of 10. Thank you for watching.